This is Mary from Open Helix with this week's Tip of the Week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resources I'm talking about today, links to the papers, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. For today's tip, I'm going to explore some software that I found in the paper that was recently published on the genome of Peach. So I was looking through this paper. It's a terrific paper about the new information they have and the analysis that they did on the Peach genome. But of course, with any genome publication, there's tons more data available for you that you have to go to the databases to, to locate and explore. I went to this section of the paper that contained links to where they've stored their, their data. And in the URL section here, you can see there's a couple of different ways. Actually, there's multiple different ways to explore the Peach genome further. You click this one. We'll go to this one in a new tab. And here you have the access to this database where you've got gbrowse, you've got this nice comparison with strawberry and apple, which actually made me really hungry. That was great. And you have other tools that are available here. But there's even more available if you go to the phytosome peach page. You have access to more ways to explore this data. And you can go to this uh, phytosome site and use a number of different really nice tools that are available here. So this is what I'm going to focus on now, but be sure to go back and check out all the other uh, opportunities for you to explore the genome data as well. So when we find ourselves here on the Peach landing page, it specifically is called out here as Peach, and we can access the Peach data from the tools that are here. Or you can go up to the top of Phytosome, and you can explore any of these species that are available here. So there's a terrific list of plant species that are available, and you can use the kinds of tools I'll be showing you here on any of these species. But I'll focus on Peach today because that's where we started. But the same kinds of things that I'm, I'm talking about here, you can do for any of these. One of the first things you can do is perhaps browse the genome by clicking this Browse Genome link here we're going to have access to the gbrowse installation that's at Phytosome here. There's other gbrowse installations you can look at too. But if you want to look at the one here, you have access to a number of different data tracks that load. And you have access to some of the default settings here. So here's just a, a default section that's loaded up, and you can explore that. You can load up any other sections that you want to browse around. And you can choose which tracks you want to show. Now, by default, some of them are checked off. But you can come in here and you can see if maybe there's another species you want to see, the Vistaplot comparison. Maybe you want to see the comparison to wine grape, for example, or any of these others. So all you have to do is go to the select tracks and add those to look at your browser view here. There's even more information available by clicking on any of the items that you can see here. For example, I'll just click this one. And you get details of the gene page here. And there are a number of different tabs, so you can look at the specific information is provided on the first tab here, you can get the sequence data, you can get the homology, you can get the ancestry, and you can download all of this data as well. But let's focus on this gene tab, and you can see there's more specific information about the features that you have here. And you can go deeper on any of these things. You can learn more about the information that's provided here. So here's a domain that you might be interested in. You can go to PFAM, and you can explore that family in more detail. Now there's other types of things that you can do here. Gene ancestry is a really neat way to look at this data as well. So you can explore the related genes in other species by just interacting with this. Now, I don't have time to go into the whole detail about the really great things that you can do to explore that. I would encourage you to check out the Phytosome paper that provides a lot more details about how to interact with this data and the way they've set this up. One of the things I thought was really nice is right in Figure 1 here. I'll load that up. You can look at the relationship across all these different species that they've organized for you in a number of different ways. You can look at it by domains, you can look at it with the exon structure, or you can look here as the one that they have the syntony set up. There's a lot of opportunity for you to explore the plant species and the genes that they're, the gene calls that they're making in all these different species by accessing the phytosome details. Now, I only had time to talk really about the browsing, but you can also perform other types of queries with the Biomart interface. You can perform BLAST and BLAT searches and so on. So there's a lot more that you can do over at Phytosome. You really should check it out if you're interested in all these plant species. Thanks very much for your time.